Hi everybody, Steven here. If you watched my life cycle manager video I just recently posted, you're going to want to watch this one. This talks about me updating my vSAN cluster, which I had some issues with in that previous video. So stick around and we'll see you in a bit. Bye now. Okay, thanks for sticking around. Why don't we jump to it, and I'll just throw this out there. Hey, support the channel by subscribing. I'd really appreciate that. Thumbs up, all that wonderful stuff. Let's jump into this right now. So in my other video there, if you haven't seen that, the Lifecycle Manager video, uh, you want to click on whatever the link up there, okay? So you definitely want to watch that uh, first. As I was going through the video, you'll notice that my vSAN cluster wouldn't update, wouldn't remediate, okay? Uh, and I got errors on it. So I just actually did a, a, another one here and you'll actually see I got some errors. It says my vSAN health test, SCSI controller, all that type of stuff. So it's saying the health of the vSAN clusters, it's not healthy. Why is that? It's because I'm in a nested environment. I'm running unsupported hardware. So if this was a production environment, I would be concerned if I was getting hardware incompatibility issues in the vSAN cluster. Uh, this is my lab environment, who cares? So how can I uh, manage to remediate this, right? So I'm gonna go to my vSAN cluster. I'll click on that. I'm gonna go to monitor. I'm gonna go into, um, where is it, Skyline Health. And then we'll just wait for that to load up. And you'll see, again, there's a little red bar there, right? So there are some uh, unhealthy components here. There's two of them, right? My SCSI controller is VMware certified, vSAN max component size, right? So it's telling me, again, these things are not supported, right? I'm gonna click on silent alarm. I'm gonna say yes. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one, silent alarm, and then yes. So you'll notice now, I get under unhealthy, I've got, not, it's zero, but I've got some alarms that are silent. That should now allow me to proceed. So let's go to my uh, uh, vSAN cluster. Let me go to updates. Again, notice the image I want to update to. It's uh, uh, 80 update three. And I'm currently down here at the bottom, 80 update two B, right? So I'm just gonna click, I'm not gonna stage it. I'm just gonna go right to remediate. So this is not a long video. I'll click on remediate all. I'll hit the start remediation. And let's fire this, open this up. And you'll see it says remediate cluster. Now this is gonna take a little while, so I'll uh, probably speed up this part of it, but I do wanna show you a couple of things afterwards, okay? So right now you see it's actually going through checking compliance, doing a few other things here. What do I wanna, I'm looking for something in particular here. So I'm just kind of waiting. I can expand this over here if I want to see some more information. Okay, starting remediating host three, right? So notice it's, um, let's, let's see what we got here. Okay. Notice it migrated a VM here. Uh, it entered maintenance mode, migrated a VM, and then it will go into maintenance mode. Notice it says enter maintenance mode, and it's there, it's done. Now you see host three is in maintenance mode, and it's starting to install the image on host three. So hopefully you can see that. So what's gonna happen here is you'll notice I actually had some VMs running and it actually did a vMotion, migrate, uh, uh, it migrated this app VM. Because I have distributed resource scheduler enabled and in fully automated mode on this cluster, when it needs to update one of the hosts, it picked host three in this case, it says, okay, I'm gonna put this host into enter maintenance mode. So once it did that, what will happen, it will sit in enter maintenance mode until all the VMs are migrated off that host. Because I got DRS fully automated, it migrated that VM off of it to one of the other hosts. I don't care which one. And it's now applying the patch, okay, or the, or the image. Notice it's still in maintenance mode. Notice it's not responding right now. So it's actually gonna, notice it's head up here, started to reboot the host. So it's rebooted the host and it should come back, okay? Once it comes back, it should exit maintenance mode, and then it will look at uh, doing uh, patching another host, maybe host two or host one, and it will repeat that process. So I'll probably speed this little piece up for you as well. Notice the host is it's back now, it's still in maintenance mode, and it just exited maintenance mode, all right? Now it's checking compliance with the hosts. 
Okay, start compliance on host three. It's doing a check on that to make sure it's okay. And then uh, what do we see here? Check compliance, it's doing that. Perform, okay, it looks like it's doing host two now. Um, and then you'll actually see it perform okay. It's doing a couple things here on host two. Enter maintenance mode on host two down at the bottom. You can see that. Um, and you'll see it's actually migrating VMs. Looks like it's migrating a couple of VMs off of host two. And host two should now go into maintenance mode. Come on. And there we go. And now it's going to start installing the image. So it's doing this automatically for me. So this is the beauty of uh, well, Lifecycle Manager, but also with Distributed Resource Scheduler set to fully automated mode. I just sit back and it does everything for me. The VMs are not taken offline. They're migrated with vMotion. I'm just going to let this finish, so uh, we'll, um, and I'll speed it up for you. Okay, we can see that it's finished now. Uh, so that was pretty straightforward. We see all hosts are all compliant. So I'm all at, they're all at 8.0 update 3, which is great. So the main uh, takeaway on this, folks, if you've got a vSAN cluster and you're using Lifecycle Manager, it's not going to let you update in your host if there's a problem with your cluster. And when you think about it, that makes sense, right? Fix the issue, then look at your updates, okay? Um, and again, in my environment, it's because I had unsupported hardware, I had to clear that. In a production environment, uh, if I seen that, I would be concerned, all right? Uh, but that's it. I, I hope you enjoyed it with just a, an update from that vSAN video. If you haven't seen that, uh, sorry, the Lifecycle Manager video. If you haven't seen that, you're going to want to watch it. I, I'll leave it there, a link there. And uh, leave comments and questions down below. Anything in particular you want to see, let me know, and I'll do my best on doing that. Have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye now.